Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Short video today, but I wanted to pass this through you guys because I think that this method of preserving meat for the freezer is the best that I have tried yet. I hope you guys had a good weekend this weekend. I had a very productive weekend, got a lot done. Unfortunately, the leaves are already turning brown and it looks like it's time to start getting ready for winter over here. So I hope you guys had a good weekend as well. In the past, you've seen me preserve meat to put in the freezer, either using plastic wrap or using parchment paper to wrap the meats first prior to vacuum sealing them. However, I tried this method and I believe this method works the best and you don't have to use plastic wrap or parchment paper. As you can see here, I've got four steaks that I've already frozen. So these are already frozen. They've been in the freezer for a couple of days. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them out of this package. I'm going to separate them and I'm going to rinse them and then put them on a plate. Now, ladies and gentlemen, even if it takes you a little bit of prying to get these out, they should come apart pretty easily because they are just individual pieces of meat that are stuck together. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and transfer these onto a plate that's lined with a paper towel. What we're going to do is we're just going to take another paper towel and just tap the top and make sure that there's no really wet spots. Now many people ask me, where can you get this food saver? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've had this food saver for, I would say, at least 10 or more years. And I don't think they make this model anymore. However, I do think that the food saver brand food sealers or vacuum sealers are a very good brand. And I do have some in my Amazon storefront if you want to go check them out. They've come up various shapes and sizes depending on the way that you have your kitchen laid out. But I've had this one for a really long time. I just don't think they make this one anymore. Now the vacuum seal bags that I use are for the most part food saver bags. But I found these on sale. It was a great deal. It was I think $19.99 for 100 of these 1 gallon size bags. And this is the name of them. I've got these in my storefront as well. But I wanted to show you these because these things are very good quality. I've used them a few times. Very good quality. And you can actually reuse these without them getting tore up or anything like that. So our next step is going to be to just merely put our meat in here. Now as you can see the meat is nice and dry. Right? Now this is why I think this is the best way of preserving this in your freezer without getting freezer burn. is because you know when you try to vacuum seal meat the juices come out especially if the meat is thawed out. The blood comes out, the juices come out, and they want to escape into your food saver. Well, when you have it frozen, all of the juices are frozen. So there is a very small chance that you're going to try to suck some of those juices out with the force of the food saver sucking out the air. So let's see how this works. I only, I only package two per pack because two of these will feed us four with no problem. And all we have to do is just put in our food saver. Then I go ahead and make sure that it's on slow or normal and then I put it on the moist setting and then we go ahead and start it. And then I always go ahead and give it, whenever I remember that is, I give it a second seal. And as you can see the juices made it up here but it's very minimal. It's, it's nothing like when you do it and it's not frozen. When you do it and it's not frozen the juices just want to rush out. So the juices made it just about up here, very small amount, 
but it still produced a very good seal. So I'm going to go ahead and put another seal on it. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Check it out. There is absolutely no air in there whatsoever. All the air got sucked out from the middle. We've got a perfect seal. And like I said, the juices made it up to the top, but very, very minimal. Nothing close to what it is when you're working with a unthawed and unthawed product. All right, now all we have to do is get a marker, put our date on it, and put it in the freezer, and we're good to go. I've had meat in there like this. Well, not necessarily like this, but back before when I wrapped it with like plastic wrap or parchment paper, I've had meat in the freezer like this for over a year. Absolutely nothing wrong with it, right? Because there's absolutely no air in there and it's in the frozen state at all times. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, ready to rock and roll. <laughs> the next time these guys come out of here, they'll be going on the grill. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining in. Like I said, a short video today, but I think that this is a great way to go ahead and preserve your meat in the freezer for long term to make sure that when you get it out, not only will it still be good to eat, but it'll still be tasty. All right, having said that, I hope you guys have a great Monday today. Have a great week ahead. Remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place, and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to every one of you and your families. This is Alaska Prepper. I'm out.